So we get asked a lot about maxillary expansion and whether or not that should be used before jaw surgery, in lieu of jaw surgery, uh, in its impact on uh, nasal breathing and obstruction. So MARPI or MSE or these types of appliances, uh, or it used to be just a surgically assisted expansion. And from an orthodontic perspective, this is done when there's a transverse discrepancy, meaning that there's a crossbite. The upper jaw is too narrow and that upper jaw needs to widen so that the top teeth are overlapping the bottom teeth. More and more, this is used to try to open up the nasal airway, and it can be very effective in that. And we see patients regularly, uh, by the time they present to us, they've already had a round or two of MSE or MARPI or these expansions to try to help open up the airway. Uh, and I think it is very effective. However, the one thing I would say is that if a patient knows that they need double jaw surgery or is planning to do double jaw surgery anyway, um, and they don't really have much of a transverse discrepancy with a single uh, procedure or a single shot of double jaw surgery, we can very effectively open up that nasal airway without the need for these multiple phases and stages of expansion. Our philosophy is to try to do as many things at once uh, as we can so that patients are not undergoing procedures every single year and having all these interventions and delaying treatment. But, you know, the modern professional patient really wants to come in and have an effective uh, treatment as much as they can under one setting if possible. The other thing, there's a um, philosophy or a common misconception that doing expansion, whatever the mechanism, creates a greater um, three-dimensional opening of the nasal uh, cavity and or doing jaw surgery may affect that in a different way. But what I would say is that when you're expanding down at the tooth level, even though there might be some bone support holding it, it's still pivoting and the width is going to be greatest down at the teeth and it's going to be less up towards the orbits or towards the superior part of the nose. Whereas with double jaw surgery, especially the Lafort where we're segmentalizing it, with 3D plates especially, we can differentially widen more at the nose and maybe actually narrow it or not that we would want to narrow it, but make it less widening at the teeth in which case we may uh, not create what's called a buccal crossbite. We can get more widening where it really matters up at the nose. And the other three-dimensional component of this is when we're doing what's called counterclockwise movement, we're moving the posterior part of the palate, the posterior aspect of the palate down, which will open up that volumetric part of the nasal cavity. We're moving the maxilla forward, which will bring the uh, uvula and the soft palate further forward and there's many other sites by which we can open up the breathing. Additionally, we're usually doing the lower jaw too and there's a significant site of obstruction is at that tongue base. So in conclusion, expansion may be indicated in some instances and we certainly will advocate for it in those situations. Sometimes uh, if you know that you're gonna be undergoing double jaw orthognathic surgery anyway, and you don't have a crossbite, you may not need to undergo that. And again, our philosophy is to try to do as many things as we can and accomplish significant airway opening uh, in a single stage as opposed to multiple widenings without actual three-dimensional repositioning with uh, jaw surgery. So thanks for listening. If you have any other questions, please check us out on our website, uh, www.dereksteinbacher.com. Thanks again.